In this problem, we're told that a university has three colleges, arts and humanities, natural science, and business. And each college is getting to elect a certain number of students to the student government, and we want to figure out how many different ways there are for representatives to be elected from the three colleges. So first, I'm going to realize that there's three colleges, so there's really three parts to this. There's the election for arts and humanity. There's the election for natural science. And then there's the election for business. So then the question is, how many ways are there for the people to be elected from arts and humanities? How many ways for natural science? And how many ways for business? And in this case, they don't tell you um, just, um, you know, it's not a situation where we just have five people are running from arts and humanities and we're just going to take those five people. So we need to figure out how many possible ways there are to get the groups from arts and humanities, natural science, and business. So let's start off with arts and humanities. We know that they are going to elect five representatives from a group of nine people who are running. So I'm going to put there 9C5. So we have nine people running. And of those, five are um, going to be elected. So that's how many we can choose. And I'm using combination because we're just electing them to a group of representatives. We're not saying one is going to be the president and the vice president and so on. So that's a combination situation. Now let's take a look at natural science. They're going to get four representatives out of a group of six people who are running. So that'll be 6C4. And then business is 6 out of 8. So that'll be 8C6. So I'll compute each of these values separately and then multiply them together. Okay, so now I've calculated 9C5 and that gives me 126 different ways for people to be elected from arts and humanities. And from natural science, 6C4 turns out to be 15. And from business, 8C6 turns out to be 28. So when I multiply those three numbers together, I get 52,920. And that's my final answer for that problem.